Our animals are our brothers and sisters and we are guardians of this planet and our job is to protect them and look after them. Wonderful friends, welcome to today's Animal World Our Co-Inhabitants, featuring the second part of our interview with vegan Italian telepathic animal communicator, animal healer and animal bereavement counsellor. Rosina Maria Aquati, who has lived in Hong Kong for over 32 years. I love to help people with their animals. Um, also, it, sometimes people can work with their animals and they won't abandon their animals. And when that happens, that's really good because that knows that you've helped somebody connect with their animal. Um, most of my work, you have to work with your heart. You have to work with your heart and give that love to the animals and you get a lot back, a heck of a lot back. Scientific research has demonstrated that keeping animal companions has many health benefits. They also selflessly aid us in many areas of life. It has been shown when animals are taken into hospital like the Dr. Dog program here, people are better. Stroking a dog helps people with strokes. It also gives people something to focus on. Animals are used as guide dogs. They are used for people with epilepsy and people with diabetes to let them know when these things are going to happen. Um, when I was in London recently, I actually saw a dog pulling a wheelchair along. These animals are our companion animals. They are also here to help us and we are here to protect them. But not just companion animals, the wild animals too. Ms. Aquati now discusses what she believes to be her life's purpose. My first mission is to bring animal welfare into the work that I'm doing as an animal communicator. Um, originally, I started helping people to understand their animals and their problems. And then as I started to teach animal communication, I also felt that it was very, very, very important to let people know about the cruelty that went on in factory farming and puppy farming and testing for our makeup. So my mission now is to bring awareness of animal welfare to the people that I teach as animal communicators and people that I meet when I'm doing my work. So that is my main mission. Also to make people understand that animals have feelings, emotions and souls. When you're working with animals you have to work from your heart, you have to care about the animals, you have to care about the environment and sometimes you have to be firm because you have to have a voice. So for me animal welfare is the biggest aim on what I do so that people are aware of the animal kingdom and how we are destroying our planet so very, very fast and how we are just abusing the animals in the process and not really caring. God made us a guardian of this planet and we're not doing the job very well at the moment and people need to be focused and aware of these issues and they need to be made aware quickly because time is running out very, very fast. On October the 3rd, 2009, the compassionate Miss Aquati attended the Climate Change Action Conference, Global Unity, together in saving lives, held in Hong Kong. The event featured prominent scientists, government leaders, 
media representatives and citizens from China, Hong Kong and Formosa or Taiwan, along with guest of honor, Supreme Master Ching Hai. During the gathering, Miss Aquati shared her personal experiences with our animal co-inhabitants. I think this is only about the third thing I've been to in Hong Kong, which has been totally vegan. And it was um, so inspiring. And I think the Supreme Master is doing a fantastic job to get the message out. And I think it's really good that she's bringing this awareness, especially to the Asian belt, because it's been not so high profile here. And it's changing a lot of people, and people are now thinking and people are now looking at what they buy they're reading the labels um, and people are looking at what they're eating and I think she's doing a great job and it's fantastic Rosina next explains the importance of the vegan lifestyle both for herself and for the earth Besides um, helping the environment, because most of the gases are caused by, by factory farming, about 70%, I believe, um, if people stopped eating meat and become vegan, we would save the planet. So that is one way. We would also stop the cruelty to animals, which to me is more important, because we're keeping our animals worse than we kept the slaves. When we return, we'll meet Rosina's lovely animal friends and learn why she advocates setting aside time each day for our animal companions. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Today's show features Rosina Maria Aquati, a vegan Italian telepathic animal communicator, animal healer and animal bereavement counsellor, who has lived in Hong Kong for over 32 years. Rosina has adopted and rescued many animals from the streets and from puppy mills. Topaz. This is Smoky Quartz, this one here. He is the only dog I've rescued that was a puppy. And he was very, very sick when I got him. The dog coming in now is Topaz, Sir Topaz. And this one here is Sir Malachite. This one is Lady Opalite. This one is Sir Jasper, who's very old. And this is Lady Selenite. These are the six dogs that I have. This is the, what we call the TV area. And when we're watching television, the dogs and myself will just sit here. And we'll watch some television and maybe read some books. And we'll just spend time together because it's very important that you spend time together with your pets. If we can spend time just stroking our pets, it helps us de-stress and makes us feel better and makes our animals feel better and it's not how much time you spend with your animals it's more important the quality of time when you've got that time you know you can be at home all the time but if you're sitting around or rushing around and doing things you're not giving your animals quality of time so sometimes especially when I'm home here we will just sit down read some magazines or watch the telly and spend some time together like now just cuddling and um, making everybody feel happy and relaxed so this is what I call our 
home our home day or our home time and normally what I do is when I'm at home I spend half an hour with each dog but everybody gets about half hour of just being stroked and time with mummy so that they all feel very special and we try to do that as often as we can just special times also when we're watching TV we make sure the dogs come and sit with us they're not left out Ms. Aquati suggests meditation as another way to enhance our relationship with our animal companions. Sometimes I'll come up and do some meditation and I will bring two of the dogs up with me and we will sit together and we will have some nice music on and we will do a meditation and they just like to relax and they do meditate and if you are calm then everything is calm around you and they enjoy it too they enjoy the quietness they enjoy the calmness and they enjoy your company so it's all very 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 positive and dogs like calming music too so it's quite good to have calming music on for them and they will come and do some meditation up here with me and we will do some prayers to Kuan Yin or any of the gods or goddesses we're working with so this is a, a very sort of a, a spaced time where we spend looking at our spirituality being aware of life caring about the animals doing some prayers for the animals and the planets that don't have homes We asked Rosina about the typical messages that she relays from animals to their human companions. Most pets um, just want to tell mummy and daddy they love them or they might want to tell mummy and daddy they're not giving them the right food. There might be some food that the animal likes. So each is very different. But most, most of all, animals just want you to tell them that you love them. In closing, Rosina sends her love and appreciation to the Supreme Master Ching Hai. to the Supreme Master and, and thank you for all your work you're doing because it's so important. For this very special day um, I send you all my best wishes and hopes for the future and I've also got to let you know the slogan I, um, I Rosina believe that we need to go vegan to save the planet. It's time to change and the time is now. Namaste. Supreme Master Ching Hai personally sent her reply as follows. Saintly Rosina, oh you are welcome my love. We're going in the same direction. And it's a joy and comfort to have a companion as dedicated and compassionate as you are. Heaven loves you. Animals love you. I love you. Ching Hai. information about Rosina Maria Aquati please visit rosina.wordpress.com we'd like to convey our sincere gratitude to Rosina Maria Aquati for her years of dedicated work as a voice for our beloved animal friends may all animals be blessed with loving kindness and harmony Benevolent friends, it's been a pleasure having you with us today on Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May we continue to take our world on a constructive path through noble thoughts and actions. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.